Peter. Peter! Peter! Captain, it's Peter Pan. Oh. Never say his name. I wanted to ask you this, because at the beginning of the film, there's that great moment where you have the kids playing with the wooden swords. And I just thought to myself, like, everybody probably has a memory of playing play acting when they were kids. I wanted to ask each of you, do you, what was that for you? How did you play when you were a kid? Did you use wooden swords? Did you have something like that in your life? I used everything and anything. Mm -hmm. I, I built stuff. My dad and I would like, you know, if I wanted a sword, we'd build a, a sword. I didn't have an awful lot of plastic in my house. It was mostly <laughs> stuff I would make. And I also had little models. So I would lose myself in fantasies where I would sort of, whoop, excuse me, I would build things and, and 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 i realize now of course looking back that it was the beginning of my the birth of sort of my imagination as an actor or as a storyteller i was exactly the same my dad would make beautifully handcrafted wooden swords for us but just as often we'd use sticks we found in the woods yeah. and there was so much sword fighting so much dueling i always wanted a metal sword and i remember one taking time taking a piece of a rain gutter and hammering it and making a, a, a an actual metal sword out of it which my mom promptly co <laughs> confiscated <laughs> for you before i killed some yeah, exactly <laughs> wendy moira angela darling where is peter pan <laughs> At the beginning of this film, and we've seen it a million times, but the logo now for the Disney 100 specifically, but that song that plays as we reach the castle and the line goes over the castle, it's it's so nostalgic and such a thing that I you think back to all the memories of like the cassettes and the and the, and the, the VHSs we get for those movies. When you see that logo, what's the first movie or memory that comes to your mind? The very first movie I ever saw was Pinocchio, and oh. um, and so that's an easy answer for that one, but. But my my history is rife with that logo. <laughs> like I've I have so many different associations, and there's so many iterations. There's the classic blue one from the video cassettes. Yes. There's this new modern one. There's the the old old one. It is a. Uh, it's a, I'm a big fan. I'm a student of studio logos. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the wonderful old barn sized cinemas, cold and drafty that we used to have in the UK. But that mm. I just loved, and the and that and the sort of the the odd ritual of going into these enormous dark rooms and the vastness of this wall of image. But also, I remember the. Do you remember the natural the the the, the nature films they'd always show before yeah. them? Yes. Of like, yes. You know, with the narration of ah, oh, this little bear is looking for something to eat. Here he is, little fella. You know, all of that stuff, and that would always be playing as you came in because we were probably a bit late. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and uh, and then and then I remember the impact of Cruella de Vil on me and, and realizing that my big sister was genuinely scared and I was scared and but kind of being thrilled at this like wow I'm really being aware that I was feeling something very very real. Mm -hmm. <laughs>